Yeah, you want to draw like a god? Well, let me show you. Now, the first step is get Photoshop opened and uh, get a file. These are my file settings. It's pretty detailed, but it should do the trick. Now here, I'm just starting with a simple background, nothing too complicated. Uh, I'm right now drawing on the XP Pen Artist 22 Pro, which is very useful. Now, uh, as far as equipment, you don't really need uh, the Cintiq or anything in particular to be that good at art because it is quite expensive, but it will make you better, you know, definitely. Uh, some people draw with a graphic tablet, works just as well, you can draw on paper. Um, but yeah, I really found myself enjoying art a lot more when I got a Cintiq. It's an investment, but I think it's worth it if you do plan on using it a lot. Continuing the background, I like to use the blur gallery in Photoshop, just a normal field blur to blur the background so it just fades in nicely with the character. Uh, once you're done with the background, what you want to do is uh, set up your character, your line art, whatever you're drawing. Uh, I'll be drawing uh, one of the characters from my novel. And so the first thing is I take a small brush that kind of looks like a pen and I just start drawing the line art. Now for the line art, do feel free to go as precise as you want. On this one, I'm keeping it rather loose as I'm trying to show that you don't really need perfect line art to make the art look fine. But, you know, if you want to go for that detailed approach, you know, it will work just as well. Uh, once you're done with the line art, what you want to do is get your colors in. Uh, I'm drawing in black and white right now. The principle would apply to uh, any color drawings. Just fill in very roughly with the colors you want to. Again here, keeping it simple. You can see even the metallic trims. I'm not taking too much of an effort to make them straight. Once you're done with the coloring, um, you need to give some life to these colors, so you're going to add some shading. Uh, here, I'm not shading, more as I'm uh, simply putting highlights. Uh, for the highlights, how do you highlight these materials? Uh, this would take a whole other video, but this is the time where you want to put your highlights, which mine are going to be rather sharp here because the character has armor, right? Which is rather metallic. For these highlights, there's a certain feeling on how you're going to place them. Me, the light is coming from the top right, but I'm putting a very strong white light in the back and using a soft brush to make it so the most highlighted areas are glowing, which gives this very nice effect. Now, one small note, it's something that I like to use. I don't draw it by hand because it would take a lot of time and I think it's easier. I use special effects. You can just get these on the internet. Be sure they have a black background. Then you can just set the layer blending mode to screen and clean up the edges with a soft brush. Afterwards, you can change the colors as much as you want. Just use a hue and saturation of color balance and you'll get those very nice effects to add to your drawing. Now I'm simply adding the glow to the brightest parts of the armor which would shine. The last step is rendering and uh, rendering is quite hard, it's very difficult to explain. It's um, basically coloring over your stuff, over the line art and making the thing look realistic because this drawing it tends more to a realistic approach, right? Um, the problem with rendering is that it's quite hard to explain because um, if I look at how people do it, it's not something that there has a technique specifically for it, even though I'm sure you can find one. It's uh, mostly about just you drawing. You won't be able to uh, do the rendering even if you follow a method. You need to draw, you need to keep drawing. You're going to draw your first things. They're going to look awful. They're going to look really bad, but that's fine because um, then you are going to get better. You know, compare yourself to who you were yesterday and not who you are today or who you would like to become and you know you'll do just fine so I'll just leave you with a time lapse of the rendering so far. Now this is uh, what I usually call the final stage, it's when you're done with the rendering and you want just to enhance the artwork the best way possible, so what you want to do is basically pause processing, right? So then just 
export your file. I'm just exporting in PNG here and I'm gonna use a liquefier filter to correct any wrong proportions. I also forgot a part of the element there on the right so um, I'm going by hand and reproducing some of the rendering needed. Uh, finally what I'm gonna do is use blur gallery using an tilt shift blur and an iris blur to make it just so the character is more focused in the points that I like to make the image seem more photographic more realistic. Now after some finishing touches I'm going into the camera raw filter and I'm just touching some things up upping the whites and some of the blacks and also adding a nice grain effect which I feel makes the artwork look better. Now this is just one artwork that I've done with this technique that recently I've been uh, trying out. Here are two others done in a similar fashion. But yeah, um, that's about it. I really hope it was useful to you guys who are uh, beginning in art, uh, even though this tutorial is you know, much more just for the pleasure of watching the drawing and also for people who are more intermediate in what they do. Uh, this will might be useful to artists who are um, already pretty good at it or you know starting to understand the principles but i i do hope it was useful and most of all enjoyable uh so yeah see you guys around